Hi everyone. In this series, I will talk about a new project that was started in the Apache Ignite community last year. The name of the project is Ignite 3, and essentially this is the next generation of Ignite, which we expect to come out sometimes this year or maybe early next year. It is quite interesting because, as you might know, Ignite has been in existence for around six years already, and it has evolved quite a bit since then. For example, the SQL engine got much more capabilities, it became much more robust. There is the whole page memory architecture and the persistence layer that have been added into the product. Uh, all these features, along with many others, completely transformed the product. It's not just a simple caching solution anymore. It's not even a data grid anymore. It's a much more robust database platform that can be used for a wide variety of use cases, starting with simple caching and ending with very complex database solutions or uh, as a foundation for multi-component data integration hubs. There is one issue, however. All those different features that have been introduced into the, into the product uh, were added essentially as additions into the existing code base. So even though Ignite went through this transformation in terms of the use cases it can be used for and in terms of, you know, like overall perception of the product from the user's perspective, it never went through any significant architectural or API changes. And as a result, we have a product which is very powerful. It can be used for many different use cases, for many different applications. It, it is very flexible, but at the same time, it's sometimes not very easy to use, especially for beginners who are trying to, you know, acquaint themselves with the product. So Ignite 3 is the project that tries to address and fix exactly that. The main focus of the project is to improve usability, not to add new features because, you know, Ignite is a very feature rich platform already, but to make it easy, easier to use. Um, to make sure that when you download Ignite, it's very straightforward and you understand what to do with it and how to adapt it to your applications. So in this series, in the next few videos, I will dive into details of the Apache Ignite 3 project. I will show you what we have achieved so far and even show some of it in action. I will see you soon.